Hello, my name is Jay. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a macro to create a new workbook for each worksheet in your Excel file. So here I download this uh, template. I think this is the, uh, one of the invoice template from Microsoft website. And in this template, I have five different worksheets. And the macro is going to basically uh, take each worksheet and create an uh, individual Excel file a workbook for uh, each tab and let's go ahead and uh, open the Phoebe window by going to the developer tab and click on visual basic I'm going to insert a new module and to start I'm going to uh, create a macro I'm just going to call this save uh, worksheets and I'm going to declare uh, just one variable. It should two. Should I need two variables, not just one. Uh, the first one is the worksheet variable. And the second one is the workbook uh, variable. So I have two variables right now. WS for the worksheet variable and WB for the workbook variable. Now we need to loop to uh, every single worksheet and save uh, the worksheet as a separate Excel file. So for each WS in this workbook dot worksheets. And we'll set the uh, workbook variable object as a uh, new workbook. So set w, set wb equals to workbook dot add. And make sure you have the file saved in your local drive. I'm going to use the active Excel file adaptatory and save all the files in that folder. And now I have the workbook object variable created. And I can just do dot, uh, w dot save us and this workbook dot path and ampersand. And I need to insert a backward slash and ampersand ws dot name. And this will basically create a new workbook and save the uh, workbook in the the same folder as the template Excel file. And uh, I just need to uh, copy the data. So top ws copy. And before the workbook that was she one. So just the uh, so we're going to copy the data and to the uh to the first worksheet of the workbook that was created. And this should be ws not wb. And once you finish, we want to close the workbook. wb.close and save change set to uh, 2. And now that's it. So now let me open the, the folder. So this is the folder where I save my Excel template. Now if I go to view and macros and just run the save worksheets macro. Now if I open my folder, and as you can see that here are my five worksheets from the, the from this template file. Let me open this invoice sheet that match to the, the invoice tab. So uh, invoice right here. And if I put the worksheets on uh, side by side, and as you can see that the contents are the same. Just be aware that you do lose some formatting, like the color, uh, the fonts. Yeah, I don't see anything else, but yeah, basically just the color, the fonts, and nothing serious. So you can, you can probably do that manually by yourself. But yeah, this is everything I want to cover in this video. If you found this video useful, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.